Hey guys, Jonah here, and I'm back with a beer review. As as is my want. Um, this one's an interesting one. It is it is part of the IPA series. Uh, this one oh, is called Hopopotamus. Hippopotamus. My lyrics are bottomless. Um, Hopopotamus. And as you can say, my God, <laughs> anything with hops in the title, it's going to be hoppy, right? But look down here. Whoop. Only 3.8% ABV. My God. Really hoppy beer. Quite low ABV. This one's going to be really interesting. Um, it's in a 500, which is always good. And it's from a brewery called Broughton Brewery, which is uh, in Bigger up in uh, Scotland. Uh, but it's South Scotland. It's, it's in, I thought it was in the borders, but it's not. It's in the Southern Uplands, apparently. Uh, but it's basically underneath uh, Glasgow, underneath Edinburgh, that kind of area. Interesting. Look at that. There's a there's a hippopotamus with a keg, for, or round round his uh, round his stomach, or has he gone through a keg or something like that? Not sure. Is it a hogshead? Probably is. Um, it gives some quite good information on the label for a change. It's an IPA style, obviously with a hoppy kind of name. Uh, colours are pale, um, apparently it's dry hopped, they've absolutely dry hopped this to an inch of its life, um, and it's 85 EBUs, which is roughly the same as IBUs, but it's a European measure. Um, some people say EBUs are a little bit lower than they would be if it was in IBUs, but we won't have to worry about EBUs soon once we leave the, uh, the dreadful European Union, which has been basically screwing us over for years and years. So I'm quite happy that we're leaving. Um, it says the malt, which is pale and crystal, doesn't give any kind of detail of what kind of crystal it is. Um, hops wise, it's going to be, it's a triple C, so you know it's an IPA. Columbus, Chinook and Cascade. So using a lot of American hops in there. Um, and it says unique yeast and locally sourced border water. Oh, so it does say borders. Interesting. Let's get this bad boy into a glass. Um, I'm quite interested uh, to see what we get. I like the look of the bottle anyway. Oh, bit of a hiss on that bad boy. Oh, ho, ho, ho. smells pretty hoppy, which is really cool. Uh, the other thing it names on the bottle is it actually tells you what the original gravity is. And for those of you that like home brewing, get this, the original gravity is 1038. So no wonder it's quite a low uh, <laughs> low ABV beer. Um, and I'm pouring into the traditional pint glass with that feminine bulge on there. Although apparently these days we're meant to have gender neutral kind of stuff. Are we going to have a gender neutral pint glass as well? Pfft, come on guys, kick those PC guys in the balls, that's what I say. Quite nice and clear, a uh, tiny, tiny bit of haze, but not too much. And the colour is pretty golden, I'd say. That's, that's quite a nice colour. Oh, lovely head as well. Look at those bubbles. Nice foamy head, probably about half, yeah, about half a finger, half to three quarters of a finger's head. My goodness, there's so much going on there. Obviously, you're going to get um, the kind of zestiness from you know, that kind of citrusy thing that, that, that comes from Chinook, but it also comes from the Columbus. However, Columbus hops are really high um, on the alpha acids, so perhaps they've used that for the bittering. Um, and then obviously, well, you could use Cascade as well, but Columbus, I think, is higher. It's all zesty, it's all kind of piney on the nose. We're not, I'm not getting that kind of grapefruity thing on the nose, which might imply that the Cascade's more in there for body. Don't know. Anyway, cheers and beers, guys. Been a long, long week for me. Um, and as some of you know, uh, I'm moving house um, at last, some of you will say. So I'm going to be back on the home brewing as well. And you probably see a different kind of uh, different place for me to... Um, Drink some beers, although I don't always upload them in order. So let's see if you can if you can work out the difference. Anyway, cheers, guys. Let's drink some of this. Mm. 
3.8 percent I'm not I'm not worried about necking quite a lot of this yes quite hoppy it's not the hoppiest beer I've ever had but yes there is definitely that kind of hoppy punch in there um, reasonably light and kind of there's a tiny bit of residual sweetness but not too much it's quite watery quite um, inoffensive I'd say on the malts hot wise yes it's in your face um, I'm definitely getting that kind of citrus that lemon peel that kind of zestiness and I'm trying to find the cascade in there yeah you've, you you have got a bit of that grapefruit but it's it's more about this kind of earthiness this pine and definitely that kind of citrus maybe a tiny bit of tropical fruit in there but I'd say mainly kind of citrusy fruits sort of definitely lemon let's get back in there oh yeah, when people talk about beers, they often talk about balance. Uh, and I know certain people, um, certain experimental people, try and get people to describe beers without using the word balance. Well, we're not worried about this here. This is all about the hoppage. It's ridiculous hoppage. Um, and you're getting that green kind of medicinally kind of thing going on in your mouth. And, and the hops are there. I mean... It's almost like you, you, I'm finding it very difficult to pick apart the, uh, the actual individual flavours because it's so hoppy. It's like resinous. It's absolutely crazy. And that might be why, <laughs> after those bubbles go, that might be why there's a tiny bit of haze because often um, you get that kind of haziness coming from the, from the oils and particulates that, that come from dry hopping and this one pardon me this one has as I say been dry hopped to within an inch of its life I think this is this is a really good example it is it's bizarre because it's a low it's so low ABV you can drink this all day long and not fall over but can you drink too much of this because it's so hoppy I mean <laughs> ridiculously hoppy but not too shocking on the palate it's it's all yeah it's all, all on the nose and all really up front um i think this is interesting because it's a very inoffensive uh beer but at the same time ridiculously hoppy But it's not, I've got it, it's not really bitter. The hops are there, the hops are hitting your palate, they're definitely ramming you with the hop oils, um, but it's not a bitter beer. So I'm 100% convinced that they haven't really used too much bittering, but they're relying heavily on um, the oils coming in through, um, yeah, the dry hopping. Which I guess is pushing up the uh, the EBUs, but not in the normal way. You know, if you put some real a, a large amount of upfront um, hops in, maybe an hour and a half to two hour boil, you're going to get a really bitter beer, but it won't have that ridiculous hop bite that you get when you add a, a shed load of hops, uh, either in the whirlpool stage um, or like this one is dry hopped um, it's a really good beer I'm liking it I'd prefer it to be a little bit sweeter myself but hey that's because I got a sweet tooth and maybe my teeth are going to start to fall out because of that um, not to create the dreaded balance as as we say um, but just to kind of just to take the edge off that kind of hot bomb if you like uh, and that's personal. That's my personal view. Some people really like to get slap, uh, slapped around the face. Wow, it's only three point eight. Uh, slapped around the face with a a wet piece of hoppage. Um, 
if you like that, try and find yourself one of these. Or find it in the beer festivals. Hopopotamus. <laughs> Ridiculous beer. I think that's quite cool. Uh, from the Broughton Brewery. Interesting things you've done there, fellas. If you you guys are listening out there. Um, Uncle Jonah says this is a nice beer. Um, and I'm surprised because um, I've been doing a lot of IPAs lately. Um, and, and they tend to be very generic. This one is... A different slant, shall we say, because it's not very alcoholic and because of the ridiculous amount of dry hops you put into this beer. Oh, very nice. If you guys, someone that's only drinking lager and is just going over to uh, to bitters or to ales or craft beer, whatever you like to call it, I don't know if you guys would like this uh, because it's such a change to what you're used to. Um, it really is a ridiculous amount of hops in here. However, people that, that are, are interested in picking things apart, picking tastes apart, um, maybe that do like hoppy IPAs, um, but because you, a real hoppy American style IPA is gonna be somewhere at least six, maybe 7% ABV, uh, you can only maybe have a couple of those, especially if you're driving. My God, you can only have one of those in the pub. Uh, and that probably won't hit the spot. This bad boy, 3.8, you could have you could have a whole case of these and you wouldn't fall over. <laughs> anyway, guys, it's been Uncle Jonah enjoying this IPA in, in a unique style, I have to say, really unique style, even though it's a triple C, so it's obviously based on an American recipe. Um, we'll see you next time for some more hoppage, uh, for more beer reviews, and for more Uncle Jonah ranting. Guys, cheers and beers. We'll see you next time. Whoa, hop it!